terracotta pots are beautiful in their own right. They bring a lovely natural earthy tone into the garden. But if you want to bring a bit of Gardenette's flair in, then I'm going to show you how to pimp your pots. I've got my hands on some of Northcote Pottery's plain Italian terracotta pots and taking inspiration from the cake decorating world, I'm going to show you how to dress them up. First up, a lace inspired look. So you can either stick your lace on directly like this or you can create a stencil using your lace and some spray paint. So I've stuck on my lace and I've masked off the areas that I don't want painted. Then simply give it a really good spray with the paint. You can choose whatever colour you like and you might need to give it two coats to get really good coverage. And into these pretty lace pots, I'm going to pop some succulents and cacti. Now for this drip look, you're going to need two colours. One as your base and then one to create the drips. So once you've done your base colour, we're going to flip things over and create the drips. Use a small piece of cardboard to cover the hole at the bottom of the pot. And then simply pour on about a 50 cent piece size of paint and use your paintbrush to gently guide it over the edges and create your drips. Using an enamel paint works best because it drips slower than other paints. If you've got friends or family with succulents, you can grab a few cuttings and just pop them straight in the pot. And these little guys will take root in no time. And I just love being able to cram them into a pot like this. It's a gorgeous effect. Now this simple look is a great way to use up any rope or string you might have lying around. Choose a single colour and paint the majority of your pot. Then you can use some string or rope to create contrast and texture. Grab some clear drying glue and run this around the lip of your pot. And then simply grab your string and just wrap it around the glue a couple of times. And into this rope family of pots, I'm going to pop some herbs and some sweet alyssum for a really cute cottage garden look. 